Hello, this is kind of a follow-up to one of my earlier videos where I was testing one of these FlySky FSI6 radios with an IA6B receiver to see how far I could drive a ground vehicle along uh, along the ground, obviously, and test the range of the receiver. And I had a few people commenting that they would like to know what would happen when you try one of these newer X6B receivers and see if the range is any better or worse with one of these. And I have a spare one of these sitting around, so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll put it on and uh, give it a try. So everything else is the same as before. Although one thing that I might just try while I'm doing this is one of these antennas, just to see the difference, because this one with that video transmitter, that's a 200 milliwatt video transmitter there, um, and at 450 meters, which was as far as I could get the car down the road before, this video link was just starting to cut out. So I'm assuming that I could put this antenna on at that point and get a little bit more video range. I'm not expecting the receiver to go that far, the radio control receiver. So I might have to just ride my bike a little bit further down and see if I can find the limit of the video with this antenna. Um, obviously this is not something that I'm comfortable doing flying an aircraft because even with GPS hold, it's a little bit awkward. You've got to stop, take this off, and put that one on. And I just <laughs> don't feel very comfortable leaving it like out of my sight or not using the goggles for that time. But with a ground vehicle, there's no such problem. It can just sit there and patiently wait for you to fiddle around with your video, and you're not going to crash it or anything. So I thought this would be a great, great opportunity to try and see the difference between these two. All right, off we go. Still feels good, yep, we're fine. Oh. Oh, it's, it's cutting out a bit now. Uh, oh, no, that's alright. It cut out a little bit just before. Maybe we're going in and out of this Fresnel effect kind of thing. Yeah, it's sort of choppy, but it's there. You can still control. You could probably turn around and come back fairly easily enough still. And the video is great. So there's not really much point using that other antenna just yet. How much further can we go here? Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, um, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Well, I couldn't get to the end of the video range, unfortunately. The video is still very good. Oh shit, I can't do anything. Hold on. Okay, so if I hold it above my head, I still have control. And if I hold it just in front of my chest, I got absolutely nothing. So this is a pretty good point to call it uh, the range. So I'll stop. I'll leave the car there and I'll go and go over to it and see how far away it was. Okay, we did not go as far as before. That water trough there is kind of like just a little bit before that was where we got to before. Like about here. Actually, I bought my phone today so I can try this GPS tape measure thing. So this says uh, 440 meters to where I was before and the car is back there so it didn't it's it's a good 50 maybe even 60 meters less distance than I got with the IA6B receiver anyway so the distance at this point is 393 meters so as expected the IA6B does a little bit better than the X6B so what I might do now is I'll just drive it back to that starting place and then I'll go, I'll just take my video goggles back up to there so that'll be 500 meters back there and see if it, the video gets any worse at that point and whether the, um, or how much difference the helical antenna will make.
Oh, well that's not going to work, is it? All right, I'll just put it over there and I'll ride back. Okay, I'm at the 500 meter mark now and I'm using the Cloverleaf Immersion RC antenna. And I think this is about as good as I can get it. I'm pretty much facing the antenna directly towards the car. And it's very, very usable. Like, I wouldn't have a problem using this at all. Uh, and if I turn, this is sort of about 90 degrees in one direction and then 90 degrees in the other direction. Oh, it seems like it got a little bit better over that way. But it's not really a big change, so I'm sort of swinging through a 180 degree range of movement backwards and forwards now. And it's quite fine. And if I turn around to face away from the car, now I've got my head kind of in the way of the antenna. And it's still, for the most part, it's still quite usable. If I could stop just at this point around about here, uh, there we go, so you can completely block it out with your head if you're not facing the right way, but if I tilt my head upwards, so I'm still facing 180 degrees away from the car, but if I just tilt my head to look upwards that, so that my the top of my head is not in front of the antenna, then it's pretty much fine. Now I can just, yeah, if I just look upwards a bit, I'm actually turning around and around on the spot now and it's great in all directions so <laughs> and the car the antenna on the car is probably about 40 maybe 45 centimeters off the ground at most so i'm really impressed with this it's, it's a, a good video system all right uh, so let's see there's not really much point checking the helical antenna since this one's so good but i'll do it anyway since i brought it out here and we'll see just in case anything is different and this is what it looks like using the helical antenna. I'm pretty sure this is as good as I can get it. The problem with this is you've got to hold your head really still, though, don't you? Because as soon as I go off a bit... Whoa! Off a bit to the other side. Yeah, this is probably about 45 degrees away from the car now. Oops, sorry, just bumped it. And back to center is there. Oh, that's really nice. But it's not that much nicer than the um, cloverleaf antenna, really. Yeah, this is probably about 25 degrees in the other direction. Seems to get worse quicker in one direction than the other. Back to the middle and then to the other way. And if I look, yeah, this is about, <laughs> from, an, from about 90 degrees away from the car, you just can't see anything at all. So, yeah, it's great if you know which direction to point it. Anyway, that's all I have for this video, so uh, thanks for watching.